All right, by doing this, Mike Sykes, Millionaire Maker. All right, with me, I'll make you a millionaire. So this is day 180 of my 365-day YouTube content creation challenge, where I challenge myself for the next 365 days to create valuable and useful content that I can post to my YouTube channel and try and bring the benefit of the knowledge that I've gained over the last few years as an entrepreneur to somebody out here that might want um, might be looking for some advice. Mm, excuse me. That's the way I put it. Maybe looking for some advice on how to try and help benefit and change their situation. Okay, or they might want um, to find out about what credit is and looking for a way to uh, try and help fix their credit. Okay, different things like that. Or like right now, okay, uh, I have cars listed. I have a car listed on a platform called Hire Car. I have the truck is in the shop. So once the truck gets fixed, uh, my wife will take over the truck and then I'll be free to put the um, Malibu on the site. Okay, I'm going to think what I'm going to try to do is list it on Hire Car, see if it worked there and list it on Toro. Toro is prioritized so that, okay, they say that when when you list a car on their platform, you're not allowed to list it on other platforms, okay? But long as I feel like as long as it's not being utilized on this platform, even though it's there, all right? Now, if it's constantly utilized on Toro, then there's no need for it to be over here. I can take it off of here and allow it to work over there, all right? But I have to find that out. Oh, once again, um, if you're here, I appreciate it. If you go ahead, hit the thumbs up button. Hit the, if you can, hit the subscribe button and possibly share this video with at least five people. I appreciate that. Okay, so today will be uh, July the 1st. Okay, it's going to be Thursday, July the 1st. Okay, um, get this over with right quick because it ain't nothing to report. Uh, where y'all at? Tomorrow, I have to go over and make a whole new, a new uh, sheet. Let's see. How far down this? I don't know. I guess it. Okay, well, I guess I might be able to put a whole year on here. Okay. This, so this year, this will be listed My Crypto 2021. Okay. Uh, yeah, my, my Crypto and Stocks 2021. Matter of fact, yeah, rename my crypto and S T O C K S S twenty twenty one. Yeah. Oh, while I was looking down at it is because right now while um, while I'm making my video because it's 1 30 in the morning I need to go I need to go to bed and I've just been sitting up here for like the last couple hours listening to a guy um, uh, what's his name uh, uh, Carcino for life okay I got introduced to him through Kwame Brown's YouTube channel and it seems like Carcino seems to be um, spitting game on the entertainment um, industry and things like that. Like um, his first introduction, I got introduced through Kwame. Like I said, uh, Kwame was um, critiquing a video that he done on BET because everybody, I guess you should have seen BET the other night. It, it, um, I guess by people's, by woke people standards, people that realize the agenda that's being pushed on people, the narrative that's being pushed on black people now, well, not only black people, but all people, but especially being pushed on black people, okay, by the, um, 
I'm not going to say, but the faction community. All right. And apparently they've taken over BET. And people are saying that really the BET um, award show was uh, abysmal. Just to have better, just for a better word, abysmal. Okay. Um, it's like flat out this faction has just totally taken over everything and like as to where one point in time you know hey it was insinuated but not right there in your face as for today hey um to try and find a, what would be called what used to be called a normal heterosexual male dominated family on TV uh, is very rare. Okay, everything now is him on him or her on her, you know, but it's no, or it's single mother, but it's no family structure with the um, husband in the home, okay, or with the father in the home, as they would say. All right, um, they've like phased all those out. So it's everything is, you know, a hey, same gender family household. Okay. And because like uh, the one thing that is known is that a heterosexual black male is now the endangered species. Okay. We are known as public enemy number one amongst a certain fraction community. All right. And they are dead set on annihilating us and destroying us. OK, so like I say, um, I'm over here, I'm listening to. Carcino over here while I'm making this video because like I said, I need to make this video because it's 1 30 in the morning I need to go to bed so I can get up in the morning Okay, but it's um on this journey of mine You know seeking knowledge and awareness uh, It takes me down different roads and different avenues and it introduces me to different people who speak on different topics Okay and that is how when you, um, it's um, a journey of awareness, okay? Learning, things like that, okay? I want to say part, it's part of wisdom, knowledge, gaining knowledge, understanding things as they are, like how... Um, We've all been systematically brainwashed, okay, to everything that's been stripped from us and things like that as to where there's no independence. We're all sheep, you know, we're all modern day slaves, basically, you know, made to perform and um, work on master's plantation, whether it be, hey, a nine to five job or whatever, you know, but it's all the same, okay, and that's the way of the world right now, so there's a big push for black economics, okay, to build the black family structure, to build black economics, um, to build, to start building legacy and generational wealth for black people, okay, in the black family. Okay, because the um, bases that we did have to help us build generational wealth for ourselves were systematically stripped away from us, okay, in different ways. Like the cocaine, the crack cocaine era of the 80s, which I came up in which I was a part of, okay, things like that, you know, which was all a part of a systematic plan to destroy the black people, okay? So, 
with that going on, The more you go along, if you start paying attention to things, you'll start to notice them. And then you can start to connect the dots on different things that have been done and the things that they're do- they still are doing. Like I like I say, uh, now it's kind of like, OK, for a minute, I thought it was like a big breakthrough to be able to see uh, commercials. And this is just in the last five years or so, okay, where you've seen commercials breakthrough as to where you have interracial couples. Because just a year, few years ago, um, Cheerios came out with an interracial couple commercial, okay, where they had, it was supposedly an interracial girl, daughter and a white mother and a black father doing a commercial, uh, Cheerios commercial, and the world was in a total uproar about that, okay? Uh, about this first interracial commercial, okay? Now, here it is less than 10 years, five, five to 10 years later, and... It, uh, it, it's very rare that you might see a, 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 a male female couple in a commercial at all, okay? Because basically they're all turned geared towards same sex couples, okay? The double males, double females, all right? That's the family structure. And, um, you are starting to, if you look and pay attention, you can start to see where these things are going, like the systematic, um, I'm trying to think of how to explain this, what I'm trying to say. Okay, like it's a plan. Okay, and it's a plan that they put into effect, like Dr. Boy says, you know, it's like a 50 year plan, a 100 year plan. Okay, and we know these techniques on how to um, manipulate these people and brainwash these people. And this is what we have to start doing. Okay, like I said, like, like I said about the Cheerios commercial, hey, they were in a total uproar at a point about interracial commercial an interracial family on a commercial. Now here it is. We want it all to be a norm for it. If you see a hey, two males and two females together, hey, that's normal, okay? It's normal for you to have more same-sex couples than it is for you to have more um, heterosexual couples, okay? And all that comes down to um, their part where they try, they want to be able to control population, all right? And by doing that and pushing that agenda on the black black people, okay, it cause, it um makes it more prevalent in our society, okay? And by making it more prevalent in our society, you have more male and males and more female and females. And the less you have of male and female couples, male and female couples produce children, okay? They produce children. And when they produce children, all right, there was already one part about having black people interact with other races, okay, to dilute the black race. But the thing about that is that one touch of black blood dilutes their race, okay? More than it dilutes ours, okay? So if you take an all white person and you interject them with black blood, all right, there's always that chance that they're gonna have more, the black blood is gonna be the dominant genes. Okay, of the situation. Now, with that, you you have a tendency to lose the white population. Okay, and then when you lose the white population, instead of them being the majority, they become the minority. All right, until eventually there is no white population. Okay, because they've been so 
mixed in with other populations to the fact that they are non-existent. So in order to prevent that, we have to control how these black folks, okay, breed and take over everything. So in order to control that, we have to systematically control their mind in different ways and get them to think that, hey, it's normal for y'all not to want to, okay, not to want to pro procreate, okay? That's their thing, all right? And it's different ways over the generations that they've managed to try and achieve that, okay? Back in the early, back in the 80s, in the 90s, they was pushing it with through or both abortions, okay, and abortion clinics, okay. Like they say, um, what was her name? Um, her name was Singer. I think her name was Singer, and she started the abortion clinics, okay. I can't remember her first name, but I think her name was Singer, and she started the abortion clinics for the one sole purpose of eliminating, exterminating black babies, okay. That was their, um, that was her initial plan for abortion clinics were to exterminate black babies. Now, that was all a part of the agenda to, like I said, decrease the black population. All right. And now the thing is to defeminalize um, the black male population. OK. And like they say, if they make they turn you OK, they defeminalize you or they turn you into a clown then you're not a threat to him, okay? Any masculine male, black male, is a threat to them, threat to society and a threat to uh, the establishment, which is controlled by white folks, white people, okay? And any masculine black male is a threat to them. So their agenda, uh, along with uh, other people, are to eliminate the masculine black male. All right. That's what makes us public enemy number one, because we are the ones that are harder to be controlled. All right. And there's a lot that's going on in order to try and persuade us and control us. Okay. Into, um, as they call it now, buck breaking. Okay? If I can turn you into a girl, then, hey, you're not a threat to me as a man. All right? So, you know, you're not a threat to me, so you're not a threat to society, so you, as not at no point in time can will you be able to overtake us and overthrow us and, over and take over everything. Okay? So... And that is the agenda that they push on us nowadays. But a lot of people, a lot of people want to prefer to stay ignorant to the facts. OK, as long as it don't bother them. And that is they are all part of what Kwame calls the go along and get along game. OK, and these are people that um, do certain things. All right. Like. They try to make certain things a norm, okay? Like males playing with males' butts. They try to make that a norm, okay? There's nothing normal about that, all right? Um, men don't play with other men's butts, okay? Flat out. That's one thing that men don't do, but they try and make that a norm, okay, so that you feel like it's all right for uh, to when you see other men play with other men's butts, okay? And, like, the more I listen to Kwame and the way he points out these different things that um, they try and put hush on us, like, they made June um, Pride Week, Pride Month, okay? And, like he said, what just well you know what right now as I'm thinking about it there's a lot of things that I don't want to go off into okay I started something that right now I'm not going to go into I appreciate y'all being here with me I know this is very abruptly um I didn't matter of fact I didn't even give y'all this did I 
Nope, because I came over here to give you all this about the stock markets because today is the last day. So starting tomorrow, I'll have to start up a whole new sheet. Okay, um, this is my stocks. And I have to list them down from where you are. Uh, I did tell y'all earlier that this was today. Uh, my clean. Um, I bought three more shares of clean stock at ten something. Um, only for them to close today again at ten fifteen, and I bought them. I bought them this morning at ten twenty seven. Okay, now like I say, these here is something that I do plan on holding on to. Okay, so that's the reason why I am increasing my shares on them. All right, so uh, I'm looking. Let's see, GE. I got four shares. GE is like thirteen dollars right now, and that GE pays dividends. That's what I'm saying. Okay, GE pays dividends. Uh, not much on the dividends, but they pay dividends. Uh, Dollar seventy eight. That's uh, to make what? GE to make four shares. Yeah, I had three or something. Okay, so I'm trying to see. Show more. Uh, um, Forty-four dollars. All right. I bought a partial share at ten eighty-seven. Another partial share at ten eighty-seven. Okay, two partial shares at ten eighty-seven. So I spent forty-four dollars at ten eighty-seven a share. Okay, and off of that, I've got so far. January and April, I got four cent dividends. Then I finished up to round it up. Okay, it's been a dollar seventy eight, and finished rounded up to four shares. Uh, so what I'm say twenty four, twenty five seventy eight. 1087, that's what it was. 1087, that's what I was looking at. Okay, 1087. And y'all go, GE. Uh, yeah, 1087, but now it's at $13. So I'm up 2.83% on my total investment. My average cost was 1095 for my four share. So right now, uh, wouldn't be a good time to buy. You know, I really would need to catch them on a down slope. But I should start buying more of GE. Okay. Um, YOLO, I got 3.15 shares. Okay. Let's get our trusty old calculator here. YOLO is selling at $21 a share. And where am I? Where are mine? It tells me what it is that I have. Shares. Okay, there we go. So we would do. We would do. Oh, no, drop that down. Calculator. We would do. One. Minus point one four five eight nine two. Okay, and then this is um cannabis ETF YOLO that I'm looking at. Now YOLO paid me a twelve inch dividend in, de in December. They haven't paid, so what y'all only pay? December the 1st, I bought a share, $17, then I bought $10, $27. Then December 31st, they paid me. Show more? 
That's all. Okay. No show less. We'll go back. Uh, where we at? There we go. Equal. No, not that. That ain't what I meant. Um, nine. Where is it at? Again, nine. Two. Equal. Then we come over here and we see, uh, I'm a, if this we go, point eight five four one zero oh, eight review order market price is twenty one dollars. Okay, it'll be eighteen dollars. Will we have eighteen dollars? Nope, we short. We only got fifteen dollars, so we might have to come back and do this. Besides, cause see, um. Go back and look at uh, YOLO. Is YOLO on the downswing or what? Uh, maybe so. It locked in at 2110. Ah, my arm. Oh. Ah. Okay, now like I was saying, when I got over here, um, as far as up here on my chart, uh, yeah, I'll start a new month tomorrow. I still got like another day left, but I won't need it. So we ended today. We um, ended yesterday at 1213. So we ended today at 1244. So we up. Uh, Oh, well, not only are we, no, because I can't say we up because I did uh, add more money to my thing, but it still looks up, so we good. Uh, crypto, last month, I didn't bother to record what it was since the last day. Uh, yesterday was the 29th, was in the Z column, so it won't, don't have no more. But I managed to put, uh, yesterday it ended at 449.49. Today it ended at 456. So we up. <sighs> Sometimes I be good and thirsty. And that water down pop be good. <sighs> okay. So, that's where we at now. All right. I, 30 minutes in, I appreciate you people being here with me. I'm going to give you more news tomorrow. I'm going to look into some properties, probably my VA found some stuff. So, I'm going to look into that. All right. So, Uh, okay, yeah, so with that being said, I'm in this video. My name is Michael Sykes. I'm the Millionaire Maker. If you hang with me, I'll make you a millionaire. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.